quote it uh, from the column map editor. Masking techniques um, and what kind of functions can be used. So Optin supports data conversion uh, by default. So if there is a, if by virtue of using a data privacy routine, if it is needed to convert data, uh, Optin, Optin by default will be having um, a, a specific behavior like character to character is, uh, is compatible, character to numeric is, com is compatible, numeric to numeric is also compatible, and numeric to character is also compatible. Okay. In many cases, Optin follows the database uh, um, data conversion options. So uh, many of the but the default behavior will remain the same as, a, as in a RDBMS system. Another form of masking technique is uh, expression. I can mask the, uh, let's say, an address field with a, with a string literal. A string literal is nothing but uh, something which will remain constant for all the rows. So obviously, if I'm using a string literal, it, it, it basically means that not everyone, I mean, it, it's very obvious that all the records of, of a particular table or a particular data element will remain the same or will have the same masked output. And uh, someone who is looking at the data will know that uh, someone has modified the data. But uh, for purposes of uh, testing and QA purpose, I can uh, very well use a string literal and that will serve my purpose. I can also use numeric expressions wherein I modify the values using um, a variety of mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. One of the values used in the numeric expression has to be a, a column name. Other examples of expressions include random or sequential numbers. I can make use of built-in um, functions like uh, random and sequential, which wherein I can specify uh, how the random number is calculated. I can also use a character substring. Um, the definition of these substrings are pretty much the same as an RDBMS system, wherein I can specify a column name, and I can specify the start and the length of the extracted uh, substring. Other examples of expressions include special registers like uh, workstation ID, current SQL ID, the username. Um, I can use this register information and store that in a, in, in a privatized column. I can also make use of other built-in um, registers like current timestamp, current date, system date. Optim also has got support for aging functions. Uh, Specifically in, um, in, in data columns which has got date values, right? Or it can be date of birth, it can even be date of joining, or it can be, uh, um, you know, other examples of uh, date columns. I can use the aging function wherein I can make sure that it's not the same as in the production data. I can age it by a specific day, by a, by a number of months, or a, by a number of years, okay? and uh, ensure that when I'm enforcing an aging function, I have to understand the business requirement and ensure that this is as for the business requirement and it supports multiple sets of business rules and hence yields greater accuracy. I can convert currency from one format to another format. Optum also has got support for identity and serial function, uh, which is again, um, very much uh, a, a basic feature in many of the RDBMS. I can have a, an identity column uh, which will ensure that every time I insert a particular record, it's going to increment that by a specific value. Some of these uh, features are specific to RDBMS. For example, identity is, is available only on, C, on Sybase and SQL Server, whereas serial is available on Informix database environments. In situations wherein I would like to do some um, data privacy um, implementation, wherein I have a, a set of lookup tables and I would like to 
make modifications based upon the values existing in lookup table. I use what is called as the, um, the, the keyed lookup, wherein I specify the, uh, the source column to be masked, and the lookup table name, which has to be searched, and the columns inside the lookup table, which will be having the values which, uh, is, which is needed for doing the actual masking. Now, for doing a now there are a variety of other lookup options also available. I can do a, a keyed lookup. I can also do a hash lookup. So the differences in these lookup uh, definitions um, lies in the way the actual lookup happens. So hash lookup will be making use of a hashing algorithm uh, for identifying the hashed value and taking the hash value to um, get a specific data from the lookup table. As you can see, uh, if I'm using a hashing algorithm, every uh, every value that is passed to the hash uh, hash lookup function will, would uh, would would get me a an hash hashing value which maps to the a specific sequence number in lookup table, and it will accordingly give me uh, a value which can be used for data masking. Propagation, um, like we have already discussed, propagation is a is a method wherein um, we ensure that the referential integrity is maintained across all the related primary and child tables. If I modify a specific value of the primary table, I have uh, using the propagate function, we ensure that the related child tables across all the various levels also have the same uh, mass value, okay? which will ensure that the uh, referential integrity is not broken at any level. And it's basically mapping to the same. Um, uh, it's mapping. It's having a one-to-one -one mapping with the production database RI constraints. One important point is that uh, the, the propagate function um, should be placed on the column of the first table which is traversed. So if you if you're having a, a propagate requirement, we should ensure that the propagate is is, uh, is placed on the very first table from where the traversal basically happens. Traversal is nothing but the place from where the data privacy would start, or it's the starting table. In this slide, we'll see what happens without key propagation. So we have the customer's orders in the details table. Now, if I modify the customer's table, and if I'm not modifying the orders at the details table, uh, it would create orphan records, wherein the referential integrity between the customers and orders and the subsequent details is broken because of the uh, because of these orphan records. Okay. When I am doing um, propagation, when I'm doing key propagation you, uh, as part of the data privacy implementation, I ensure that uh, the parent when I'm modifying the parent table, the subsequent child table is also modified which maintains the referential integrity and would ensure that the application, uh, the QA test cases will not fail. Okay. 